What unexpected effects do you get when you mix ABS light resin and long lasting tough resin? Let's see the comparison of M50A and PX272 resin before and after mixing today. I set the radio at 50 50. This time I printed a total of four different types of prints and test them separately. First of all, let's take a look at the M50A print. Its bottom is thin and it will work if I try harder. Here is the mix print of M50A and TX72 resin. It surprised me, it can bend it like this without breaking. The next step is to compare the same operations of different prints. It obviously seen that the prints mixed with TX72 resin have increased a lot of toughness. The mechanical properties, toughness, can be kept stable for a long time. Anyone who has used it knows that M50A resin is very suitable for printing action figures. Will there be powdering after adding TX272 resin? Let's take a look at that. Well, it can be seen that there are little scratches, but there is almost no powder, which does not affect the use. What do you say? Finally, let's take a look at their details comparison. The details of M50A is better than TX72 resin. Will it be lost after mix? Judging from the two prints, there is no obvious loss of details. To sum up, it is concluded that it proves again that it is a good choice to use TX72 resin as a toughening agent. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.